Hello and welcome, this is Jammy951 and today I'm bringing you a tutorial on food in Life is Feudal. So the first one is gathering food. So if we head over to an open patch of land, we'll right click on the ground and what we need to do is go to nature's law and then search for something edible. And then we can mass produce this and it'll keep going for as long as your stamina holds up. As you can see it takes a little bit to find it, this is sped up so it's a bit quicker. As you can see the quality is not great, but it's the best you can really get from searching the ground. As you can see the hunger went from 14 up to 17 so it's only a gain of 3 so it's not substantial. So this leads us on to picking apples. So getting apples is a good way of getting some food quite easy around the map. Apple trees are dotted all over the map. You can tell an apple tree because it's not as tall and it's more spread out from its trunk. So if you go up to the tree, go to nature's law and then gather apples, you can mass produce it and it'll take some off in bulk. Like with the very first one, it picks off six and then two and then two singles. The quality of the apples depends on the quality of the tree, so the higher the quality tree the better. Next is fishing. With fishing you'll need a fishing rod. So the same way you made your primitive tools is how you're going to make your fishing rod. So if you right click on the stick, go to primitive tools and then create primitive fishing pole. It will require two plant fibre and one branch. You will then go into your inventory and drag this across to one of the top two slots where I've got my sling and my axe is the two spots and then just equipped it there. Once you've done that you walk up to the water this can be the sea or the big lakes within the map and you right click hunting and then fish. This will take a long time because your hunting will be a low level to begin with, so bear with it. It's much quicker on the server that I'm playing on because the multiplier is times 100. The link or the name of the server will be put in the description. So please come over and check out that server. Any questions, just shoot me a comment. As you can see, my hunting is going up quite quick. It's already 44 when it actually started off at zero. You will, once you get to 100, you'll get a plus 5 bonus of luck when you're fishing to find a fish. But this is a good way to level up your hunting also. Unfortunately it does use up your stamina so you might have to keep re-clicking so you can't just go off and leave it. But as you see we finally caught a fish. So next we need to actually cook that. So before we do that we'll need to get a fuel for a fire, so we need to cut down a tree and what we want for a normal campfire to light it is a normal hardwood billet. So if we just quickly get a hardwood billet now and then we'll head over to the cooking menu. Make sure you have your saw equipped otherwise it's a bit longer process because you've just got to assign it to you. So now we've got a hardwood billet we'll head over to the fire. So cooking, when cooking we need to actually stick the hardwood billet into the fire and then light it. You will need a stick with the fish as you'll see but you can cook all different types on the fire. So if you hunt for like chickens you can do your boiled chicken and stuff like that and then if you get normal game meat then it's fried beast that you make and they're really good sources of getting your hunger up. From that one salmon you get 10 meals so it's really beneficial. As you see the quality is 27 and it actually raised up my hunger by 27. So it's actually a good way of getting hunger up. Anyway guys, if you liked the video and found it helpful, please give it a like and please subscribe for more. Anyway, thanks for watching.